Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm shocked by the response on my electric only challenge. Thank you. And thank you for a thousand subscribers. So I wanted to do something a little different today. Let's rank some spooky ghost type shinies. First up, we have Mimikyu. I don't like the very slight color change, but I appreciate the change of the cheek color from red to black. D. Delmize. I appreciate this one more and more each time I see it, but it is a little basic. So we'll give it a B for basic. Lunala. The deep red is a compliment to its original color. It's like the Blood Moon version. A. Necrozma Dawn Wings. It looks like you left Necrozma in the washing machine with shiny Lunala. D. Marshadow. My favorite legendary, but his shiny isn't all too special because it looks exactly the same until he flares up. E. Blaze Falan, if that's how you say it. I didn't know this Pokemon even existed. Well, I guess it's technically an Ultra Beast, but he looks like they just pulled a negative of the original. E forever. The new Ghost T Pokemon, Poltegeist, from Sword and Shield. Nintendo sent me this exclusive look at what the shiny's gonna look like, and it's pretty epic. I think that's a solid S from me. Absolute legend. Ghastly, one of my favorites. I love that blue and purplish pink. That's an S for me. Haunter, he's a letdown, but he's not the worst. D. Gengar, the worst shiny. Yes, that is actually what his shiny looks like. F. Mega Gengar. Game Freak clearly learned their lesson with this one. This one is beautiful. That is an S. Alolan Marowak. Darker purple skin and I'm loving that black belly and skull mark. Give that one an A. Mistrevis. A little pukey looking, but for some reason I kinda like it. We'll give it a C. Sheninja. Now this one's pretty pathetic. Nothing's really changed except for the tone is a little bit brighter. But with it being a halo and all, the brightness kind of works, so I'll give it an E instead of an F. Sableye. A little gross looking, but I don't hate it. We'll give it a C. Mega Sableye. The eyes and the big emerald help clean it up a bit. B. Shup it. Lazy, but I like the shade a bit. We'll give it an E. Bonnet. Also lazy, but I don't like the shade as much. It looks too similar. That's an F. Mega Bonnet. Love those two colors together. That's an A from me. Duskull. Reminds me of Shy Guy. B. Dusclops. A little washed looking compared to Duskull, but I still like it. We'll give it a C. Drifloon. I love that blue and I love that yellow. It's like candy to my eyes. I just love it all around. That's a that's a hard S for me. Drifloon. Yellow isn't as sharp and I'm not feeling the green as much on his tail, but all around still amazing. That's an A. Miss Magius. Too pukey. Way too pukey. Give that a D. Spiritome. You may be sensing a pattern with my love for that blue and that paint color. That's a hard S. Dusknor. How did this happen? F. Frostlass. Were they even trying? All they did was change the color of its ribbon. Rotom. It feels a little boring to me, but it's different enough that it would have gotten me excited in the game. C. Giratina. Love it, but not perfect. A. Same with his origin form. Your mask. Feels really lacking in creativity, but I like the mask change, so it'll stay just above an F. Cofrigus does a little bit better, so we'll give it a D. Both forms of Frillish are not too impressive or different at all, so they are both F. Jellicent, I really, really love Jellicent. Both of the forms, male and female, are gonna be A for me. Litwick, he's hardly any different, but I do like that blue flame better than the original one, so he's an E. Lampant looks like you're just shining a flashlight on him. I'm not a fan at all. F. Chandelure. I love the change of the flame color. That's a B. Golit. He's hardly different. E. Golurk is also hardly different, but he's still cooler. I'll give him a C. Hone Edge. I love that red so much. Something about it just stands out. It feels to me like it's almost absurd and beautiful at the same time. I'm gonna give that one an A. While I still love Duo Blade Shiny, something about it just doesn't stand out as much to me. Maybe too much white space. I'll give it a B. Age Slash, on the other hand, is a solid S for me. I really love the way he is. He's beautiful. Phantom, he's a well-rounded shiny. B. Trevenant, he's not as well-rounded. A little too white. We'll give him a C. Pumpkaboo, I'd never seen this shiny before, but he's instantly a favorite for me. He's an S. Same with Gor- 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 Gorgeist? Also S. Hoopa. Like a little golden statue. I absolutely love it. Another S for me. But 
Hoopa Unbound seems a little too big and full of detail to all be one color. It just feels wrong to me. But he's still cool, so I can't fault him too much. I'll put him at a C. Decidueye is cool and balanced looking, but he's not my favorite, so we'll put him at a B. The ghost form of Oricorio just had a color swap on the edges of its feathers and its main color, so it's really not that special to me and it kind of feels like an F. Sandy Ghast, I love it, but it's not fully there yet. It's not quite the black that its evolution is, but it's I still like it. B. And finally, Palisand. It's there. It made it. I love the black sand so much. It contrasts great with the shovel, and I love the little pink and bluish seashells on it. Th this one's an S. I, I had never seen it, but I really want to go and hunt one now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. I have some cool different challenges in store coming up. Uh, I want to try and do some things a little differently. Let me know if you want to see more things like this, or if this was just straight up boring to you. That's fine either way. I just wanted to try something different. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think down below, and until I see you again, keep you cool and catch you later.